Hi, welcome to Our Math. Today I am doing a special edition video on how to use your calculator. I teach classes with combination and permutation and I do online classes and there's always this assumption that students know how to use their calculator in these classes and there's lots of videos on YouTube and such, including now this one. Um, but there are so many different calculators out there and I just want to do one video and I'm going to talk about four different calculators to each of Casio and TI, which will cover the majority of what my students use and hopefully what you use. And it's just going to be how to use your calculator. If there are other videos like this you want me to make about other functions on calculators, let me know in the comments below and I can do it. Um, I am just doing this one because this is the one that I currently am struggling with. So a bowl has chocolate candies in it. There are 27 red, 21 blue, 33 brown, 11 yellow, 15 green, and a, oh, I should have fixed this. A kid grabs six. Okay, so six candies are grabbed. And how many ways can a kid grab two red, three blue, and a green? So they just reach into the bowl, grab six candies, and run off and eat before their mom or dad or parental figure in whatever way notices that they are stealing candies from the bowl. So if they just grab the candies and run, order doesn't matter. If order doesn't matter, we use combination. I think one of the struggles with this unit when you're learning about combination and permutation is you're always combining items um, and combination is one of the two functions. Now, when I write out combination in my class, in my notes, I always say, so if I'm combining the reds, I would say the combination of 27 reds taken two at a time, and you multiply until you get to all six. So times the combination of the 21 blues taken three at a time, times the combination, let's see how many greens are there, 15 greens taken one at a time. Now I could continue, I could say times the combination of the three browns taken zero at a time, combination of the 30 combination of the 30 no nah, combination of the 33 browns taken zero at a time combination of the 11 yellows taken zero at a time is that it one two three four five okay I could continue with that and I'll show you in a second why I'm not doing that but if you feel better acknowledging all of the colors that is always an option you have here's the trick this is function notation because you have the function parentheses and what you want to do. There are some calculators out there that this is how it's plugged in. They are few and far behind and very, very expensive. Most calculators don't do that. They use the um, function notation of NCR. So when you type this into a calculator, you will type 27 NCR2 times 21 NCR3 times 15 NCR1 equals. Okay, so how does this look? Uh, one calculator out there is this Casio. Now, some of some people have the Casio 115, some have the Casio 300, and this is the ES, not the MS. I'll show the MS in a second. Um, for this calculator and this line of calculators, the NPR and the NCR, because we'll do the NPR in a second, are right above the multiply and divide. So if I want to type this into my calculator, let's see, I need to type it in in the order 27 shift NCR. Now notice that the display just shows the C. It doesn't show NCR, it just shows C saying, hey, this is the function you used, C2. And then I'm gonna say times 21, shift, divide to get NCR, three, times 15, shift, NCR, one. And when I hit equal, I get this really big number, 7,200,000. 
All right, so that's that calculator. What a lot of students use and a lot of schools love, they just adore this calculator, is this one. This is a very, very popular, popular calculator. For this calculator, um, it's in this probability menu. And it also will be entered in the same um, NCR format. So for this one, you would type 27, probability, go over to the NCR, and notice it says NCR equals 2 times 21, probability, move over, equals 3 times 15, probability, move over, equals 1, equals... And once again, we have 7,002,450, same answer. If you have, going down in what I would think of quality of calculator, if you have this one, this Casio, it actually, this is the easiest for this one, has it right here, NCR, NPR. For this one, I just literally do 27, NCR, three, uh, two. And notice, it just like the other Casio, it just shows the C. It doesn't feel it needs to do the whole NPR on the display. Times 21, three, times 15, one. Um, and last, but definitely not least, and no, I don't think this is going down in quality. I really don't, um, is a graphing calculator. And this is one that a ton of students have. For this one, to get to the probability things, again, we need that probability menu. It is not on the front display. We have to hit the math menu, and then it's over here, PRB. So I'm going to hit back, down, down, two times. Um, I could also hit three because it's the third option. Three, three. Um, times 15 math, one. And once again, I'm getting that same answer. So that's it, every calculator. Now for this one, if the kid grabs a red and then grabs a red and then grabs a blue and then a blue and then a blue and then a green, in this case, order matters. So in this case, we're using permutation. So this is P272 times P213 times P151. Now, I think of permutation as being a truncated factorial. So this is literally 27 times 26 times 21 times 20 times 19 times 15. And you're more than welcome to type that into your calculator. Um, a few things you could also do. If I came onto this calculator, any calculator, you can do this on every single one, and I go back up and I just come back here and I said, hey, I don't really want P, I want shift times, or C, I want P, delete shift times, delete shift times. Hey, I've now changed all my C's to P's, and there we go, I have this really ginormous answer. 8402900. So I've gone from 7 million to 8 million. Very easy. I can do that on every one of the calculators. I can come here and just, um, I think it's delete here. Nope. Oh, I hit data. data. Sorry. Uh, clear. Uh, delete. Nope. Delete here. There we go. Delete and then shift insert probability NPR. And then I have to also insert the two. Uh, and so then I am making this not look nearly as easy as it is. Go to the end, beginning, 21, hit delete, hit insert NPR, 21 NPR and so on and so forth. Or you could just retype it in. And the same thing is here. I can come here to the C and just hit Shift P. Come to the C, hit Shift P, and come to the C and hit Shift P. Um, and then for the graphing calculator to pull up your last, you have to hit second enter and that will pull up your last one if you want to just edit it. Delete math. 
NPR one. Um, so you can do it that way. Sometimes just retyping it in is easier. So if you notice when order matters, the number is bigger. And then the last question I have is how is it different? How is this different than probability? This isn't how many ways. Probability is always, 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 always between zero and one. If you find probability as 1.1, you've done something wrong. It is literally between zero and one. If it's bigger than one, you are incorrect. You would take these answers and it's always all combination or all permutation. Probability doesn't mix the two together. So for instance, C27, two, C21, three, C15, one, divided by total. So divide by total. And the total, if I add 27, 21, 33, 11, and 15, is the combination of 114 candies taken six at a time. So if I came back up to this answer, and that's the easiest way, and just say divide 114 combination six, I get this really small number. You can look at that three and translate it. If you're not good at that, just add one and change the one to a zero so that the answer is, make sure it's still on there, 0 0.0026. Um, for permutation, uh, P27, two, P21, three, P15, one over P114, six. This is gonna be ridiculously small if you're wondering, it's 0 0.72344, 44. Now, I mentioned this up here, this whole 33, zero and 11, zero, and that you didn't need those. And I said, hey, I'll talk about it later. The reason is, I'll come back to this calculator. I'm just switching calculators all over the place. If I do 33 NPR zero, it's one. And if I do 33 NCR zero, it is also one. So you can include anything with a zero into your calculations. It doesn't affect anything because you're essentially multiplying by one. So if you want those in there because then you have acknowledged every candy possible, excellent include them. You're just multiplying by one. All right. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.